I found a foundation that looks hydrating, that is in fact nourishing and moisturizing, while it also looks really great on the skin. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I want to review for you Shantikai Future Skin Foundation. It looks just really natural, really skin-like, but not so skin-like that you feel like you're not wearing any foundation or it's not giving you any smoothing benefits. Nothing like that. I think it looks beautifully smooth. It has really decent coverage and it just looks stunning. So let's talk about this foundation. As always, I will first do some foundation swatches for you so that you can see what these shades look like on me. So let's move to that now and then we'll go through application and finally the review. I'm gonna first start off with the shade cream and I've just got my little sample pot here. Just over here. So this is described as medium with golden undertones and for me the shade cream is definitely a little bit light. I'm going to apply a little bit more so we can get a good idea of what the shades look like on my skin tone. So I would say it looks a little bit light. I mean you can definitely tell looking at here what my skin tone looks like and here it's just a touch lighter not a bad shade but certainly a little bit light now next up i'm gonna apply sheer on this side so applying sheer certainly a much much better match it has that yellow and that slightly olive undertone so it looks so much better and so much more flattering on my skin it really doesn't even look any different from my skin tone so i'm gonna apply a little bit more a little bit light you can see it looks a little bit ashy and then this is of course sheer which is pretty much a perfect match you can see that it works well with my forehead as well so I've removed cream from this side and I'm going to apply the shade Wheat, which is my summer shade. So this is the shade Wheat. And I'm just going to apply that on my skin. I think this is such a beautiful color, but you can see that I could pull off Wheat. I could wear Wheat. It's just a little bit darker. Perfect for summer, but I know that in winter, I might struggle with this a little bit. Now, I have color corrected using NARS Medium, and for skin prep for this foundation, I have combination skin, and we are in summer here in New Zealand. My skin prep is really simple. I've just used a lightweight moisturizer, because the foundation itself is actually hydrating, so I don't need to layer a lot of hydrating products on my skin. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Sheer, and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. Now, upon application, you will feel a slightly refreshing sensation on the skin, a little bit cooling. It's very similar to if you've tried the MAC Studio Radiance Face and Body, the new version, that has that very beautiful, refreshing sensation, cooling sensation on the skin. That's what you feel the minute you apply this foundation. I do really love that sensation. And now I'm taking my Hourglass Foundation Brush, and I'm just going to blend this out. And I think you can tell immediately is that the foundation has just the most beautiful application. It looks hydrating, it looks moisturizing, it looks absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and buff that out. It is, I would say it's more of a, a fluid cream foundation because it's not a thick cream whatsoever. It glides and blends very, very easily. You don't need to apply a lot of pressure. You can kind of see that. It just perfects the skin and still looks really natural. It really doesn't look like I've got foundation on. Another great thing with this is that it doesn't set immediately, so you have plenty of time to dot it around your face and to work it in and blend it in. You don't need to be quick that it's going to dry down 
and you will then struggle to blend nothing like that foundation is also buildable so you can add more layers so i've dimmed my light so you can really see that skin texture and this is what the foundation looks like And have a look at my forehead. It looks beautiful, you guys. And it hasn't clung to my dry patch on my forehead. When I've been using this foundation, I find that it is forgiving over dry patches. So if you have dry patches, I think that you would probably really like this formula. Today, for example, I see no clinging over my dry patch, but Previously when I've used it, if, I've, if I have a lot of dry patches, like they're intense, I haven't exfoliated, it will only cling a little bit. So definitely a very forgiving formula. I've added my Charlotte Tilbury powder across my cheeks, my forehead, around my mouth area, and I've done the rest of my makeup. So this is what foundation looks like now. finish is just so beautiful so the shade that is a really good match for me is the shade sheer i do find that this oxidizes this foundation does set down to be something just a little bit darker so do keep that in mind so already you guys know i'm a huge fan of the finish i think the finish is absolutely beautiful it is skin like it it never really looks like you have foundation on the skin which is what i really appreciate and yet it's really smoothing and it has really good coverage. Now I have built up quite a bit um, with this foundation today because I did want to show you the coverage. I think the coverage is stunning. And um, when I've been wearing this foundation, I've really been wearing it up to maximum this coverage. It looks really good over my pore areas, never settles into my pore areas. So I've been trying this foundation for over a week. It has never ever settled in my pore areas. It doesn't really cling to my dry patches, which is amazing. Apart from the finish, what I also really love about this foundation is that it's actually moisturizing. So there are a lot of foundations on the market that claim to be hydrating, and they can give you that hydrating finish to the skin, but I don't generally find them moisturizing. This one is an exception. It is absolutely moisturizing. Throughout wearing it for the last seven days, Every single time I take this foundation off, my skin actually feels hydrated at the end of the day. It actually feels moisturized and nourished. That's amazing. I haven't found that just yet. I think this may be to date the only foundation that I have in fact found moisturizing. And yes, I know that the foundation is very expensive, but the fact that you have such a beautiful skin-like smoothing finish and it is moisturizing, I think it's worth the price tag. In terms of cakiness, this has never looked cakey on me, so you can just cross that off. No cakiness whatsoever. It also wears really well throughout the day. It doesn't really just fade. It actually has pretty decent wear time. And you'll be able to see that when I show you the wear test. In terms of the ingredient list, I am pretty happy with the ingredient list. It doesn't seem to have any fragrance. It does have alcohol, but the alcohol is not denatured, which is fantastic. And it's just standard alcohol, which is towards the middle to the bottom of the ingredient list. And I'm happy with that. That doesn't concern me. I have found no irritation with this foundation, no breakouts. My skin looks completely clear in, you know, in the time that I've been wearing it. So there really hasn't been any issues from a sensitive skin perspective. So far, all I've talked about are lots of great pros. Now there is one con with this foundation. It can settle into my fine lines around the mouth area. And I think it's just because A, I have tried to build coverage in that area. So there's a lot more product in that area than I would normally apply. And B, because it is more of a cream foundation, it's not really a matte foundation that just sits and sets down. It does move around a little bit around your laugh line. So I do find that it can settle in my smile lines. For me, to be honest, you guys, I love this foundation so much. I love the finish. I love the coverage. I love the very 
healthy look it gives to my skin. I love that it's moisturizing. I really don't care that it settles around my laugh lines. And so what I've been doing is throughout the day, I'll just pat them out if I see them. Really, that's it. Like when I top up my lipstick, I'll go and just pat around my mouth area. And it really doesn't bother me because everything else about this foundation is 10 out of 10. Now, in terms of my oily areas, I do think it wears really well, even with oily skin and you have to remember here it is very hot in New Zealand at the moment it is we are in our summer and for especially for a moisturizing foundation in terms of oiliness this is really not too bad so I'm kind of happy that yes it does get shiny throughout the day of course but um, it doesn't bother me if it gets too shiny I'll just blot with a tissue paper like I normally would any other foundation I quickly want to mention skin prep because skin prep is going to be, to be very different depending on the skin type you have if you have dry skin I think with this moisturizing foundation you can use um, any hydrating skin prep routine that you normally would you can use your rich moisturizers your hydrating serums with dry skin the more moisture you have it's probably better so I think dry skin will particularly love this foundation because it is in fact moisturizing for normal skin you don't have to have a very hydrating skin prep again this is a moisturizing foundation so if you just wear your normal lightweight moisturizer you will be fine and the same goes with combo skin with combo skin and the only thing I would say is don't layer too many hydrating products before you wear this foundation and I feel like I'm saying this word like a million times but because this foundation is moisturizing you really don't need a lot of hydrating products what I like to wear with this foundation is just a very lightweight moisturizer and that is it I don't need anything else and my skin is happy and comfortable for oily skin I would recommend same thing use a very lightweight moisturizer but you may need to add some additional steps you may need to powder your oily areas first so you know apply your moisturizer then powder your oily areas then apply the foundation on top you can also use mattifying primers just to make sure that you don't get super oily throughout the day and that oil doesn't come through too quickly so with oily skin I would definitely recommend using those techniques most skin types should be able to wear this foundation you'll just have to tweak your skin prep routine anyway let's move on to the wear test now hey guys so it's been nine hours and this is what my skin looks like nine hours later and I think it looks fantastic the foundation is intact I am going to blot and dim my light so we can really see it up close. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and blot my cheeks. So really my oily areas. And on the nose. And the forehead. I'm going to leave my mouth alone so you can kind of see. So here's the foundation nine hours later. The only thing I notice is that it has settled a little bit around that mouth area, but really that's it. Everywhere else, this foundation looks really good. It hasn't settled into my pores. It hasn't come off anywhere. It hasn't oxidized any further. Overall, the finish and the wear time is fantastic. So let me first address oxidization. The foundation will set down a little bit darker than when you first apply it and so that's really important to know especially if you're going to be buying this foundation in person make sure when you swatch it on your head swatch a couple of shades but then give it 10 minutes for the foundation to set and then based on the the color change then decide to purchase which shade you're going to get i love this foundation there are just so many pros this really is a very beautiful gel oil free foundation it really is and you could see that it, it didn't make any of my makeup slide by the end of the day like there is no greasiness there's no slipping or sliding everything is intact of course I got shiny over my normal areas like I always do however with a little bit of blotting I look perfectly fine um, 
I could even go out like this, honestly, I wouldn't have to touch up anything except for maybe a little bit of powder. And that's it, the foundation looks fantastic. I love that it gives my skin that creamy, healthy glow. It looks skin-like and yet it looks really polished and smooth. Doesn't settle into pores, of course, no attaching into my dry patches. And it is moisturizing. Seriously, it is in fact moisturizing, which is Whew, the reason why I'm going to buy it. So I have loved using the samples. I am absolutely going to purchase this foundation, hands down, and I'm going to get shade sheer. The only con, honestly, that I found with this foundation is that the little bit of settling around my mouth area, but as you saw, it's really not bad. I've had this for nine hours, and even with applying a little bit more product around my mouth than I normally would, it still hasn't settled a lot and it certainly hasn't separated. So I really appreciate that. And then if I do see some settling, I will just sort of pat my finger around the mouth area and then this will be just fine. Let me know what you guys think of this foundation. I kind of accidentally stumbled across it because I was really disappointed with the Charlotte Tilbury Skin Foundation. I wanted this. This is what I wanted from the Charlotte Tilbury and I didn't find it and so when I went looking for comparable foundations of the market I just stumbled across the Chantecai and my I remember swatching the foundation on the back of my hand and just feeling that beautiful creaminess that is what got me the swatch and I had to try it I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll see you guys in my next video see ya